Hey, hey, I am Jackie with Ruth and Ruby and I'm back for another video. I asked on my social medias the other day about doing thrift hauls and it was a unanimous yes. You guys want to see that? So that's what we're gonna do. I've got um, my most recent haul here and I'm gonna show you what I've got, tell you what I pay for it and what I plan to do with it. And if I know what I'm gonna sell it for, I'll let you know, but sometimes I don't really know that until I finish the item, see what it looks like, see how cool it is, how much product I use, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so first and foremost, let me please apologize for the mess behind me. I want you all to know that I've got a live sale coming up. All of these items are tagged and priced ready to go for that. So I'll link it below so that you can click the event and click going. That way you'll get the notifications for um, you know, like when I go live and see the sneak peeks that I'm going to be posting next week in the event so that you can see, like, for example, I'm going to post some little sneak peeks of the items like this cute little picture. Now, it looks enamel, but it's actually ceramic. And my niece did this. It, isn't that beautiful? She did such a good job on those flowers. So, first item up is this cutie little basket here. So, it's kind of like a half circle. And I thought this would be perfect to take like two pieces of rough sawn lumber, put them together and then let this hang on it with a little tea towel hanging out this way. And then some, you know, some flowers kind of just draped over. And um, I don't know what happened to my price tag on this, but I think I only paid a dollar for it. Pretty sure that it wasn't any more than two for sure, but I'm pretty sure it was only a dollar. So this next item, this is not typically my style. Like I just, don't normally go for, you know, like iron pieces like this, but I thought it would be cute painted in Apothecary by DIY Paint. And then, hold on. I need to interrupt this thrift haul to share this with you because. Okay, just listen. Reese is up there trying to get the baby back to sleep while I film this video. This is obviously not the right size. I need a bigger size, but now my middle, my little, bleh, bleh, middle little one, <laughs> Joanna is almost six. She made this with the birdsong mold. So, you know, imagine that of course a little bit bigger, the appropriate scale and how precious would that be? So that's my plan for this one and I'll, I'll be keeping this one. So I'm gonna paint it in DIY Apothecary and I only paid one dollar for it. Okay, and then next up is I never pass up brass candlesticks. Believe it or not, they are actually still very in style. Even the ones that are clearly dated that look like they're from, you know, 1987. I like to mix those in with other, you know, modern like farmhouse decor and um, sometimes I paint them, sometimes I leave them the tarnished brass and mix in with some greenery lamb's ear, things like that. And they are so, so cute and so popular. I always sell them. So, and then, oh, I paid 75 cents for that one. And I usually sell my brass candlesticks for $6.95 or between $4.95 and $6.95, depending on the size. Sometimes I get them where they're, you know, this big and I sell those for $4.95. So this one, how cute is that? And this one, it has come, I don't, this right here seems like it would be weird for one of the little taper candles. Like it doesn't seem like it would actually hold it well. So I'm thinking I'm gonna repurpose this one under like, um, I don't have a cloche, but you know, like a cloche base and then with a glass cloche on top. So that's what I'm thinking I'll do with this one. And I paid 50 cents for this one. So of course the, I don't have a retail value for that because I'm gonna mix it up with another piece. And I usually sell my cloches for $14.95. All right, this one is pretty cool. I love these little leather handles. So it says made for Pyrex brand. So I'm assuming it holds one of those glass casserole dishes, you know, with the lid so that you can carry it wherever it needs to go. I love this the way it is. I think I might put a little bit of DIY's dark and decrepit watered down on it just to give the basket just a little bit darker look. But other than that, that's all I'm gonna do to it. I paid $1 and I haven't decided if I am gonna sell this or if I'm gonna keep it for a potted plant on my porch. But if I do sell it, I'm probably gonna sell it for $8.95. Okay, 
Let's see. What else? Okay, I love this. So this is just a big, thick wood cutting board. And it's got these little feet on the bottom. So, you know, it doesn't slip around. I'm going to see if I can get these off and put some slightly larger feet on it about this big. So then it will become a riser. So these look really cute, like next to the kitchen sink with your dish soap and little scrubby brushes, things of that nature. So that's my goal for this one. And I'm going to sand it down and put some DIY dark and decrepit on this one also. Then my next, okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but basket walls are super hot and a lot of different style decor. So these are, you know, two different sizes. So these are so cute in either boho style, modern farmhouse style, a lot of different styles. You can mix these and match them with whatever your current decor is. So this one I paid 50 cents and this larger one I paid, let's see, what does that say? 75 cents. So again, a little bit of watered down, dark and decrepit, change that yellow color just a little bit and go from there. We'll see, I think these feel like they're bamboo. So we're gonna see how well it absorbs that DIY dark and decrepit. If it doesn't do what I want it to do, then I might just white dry brush it. All right, so this one is, I paid a dollar for this cutie little basket. And again, I'm gonna darken it up a little bit cause that's just a little bit too light for my taste. So I'm gonna go with some more watered down dark and decrepit and see what happens with that. Okay. Let me show you this precious little milk jug. Look how sweet. So the coloring, I don't love it. That is not my jam, but I paid $2 for it. I'm going to give it a coat of black paint to start with, seal that up, and then a coat of white, and then distress the, back, the black back over the milk and, you know, kind of around the edge and see what happens. But I paid $2 for it, and I think... I'll probably sell it for $9.95. But here's what got me really excited. As I was standing in the silverware aisle, and I will throw a picture here of how organized the silverware was. I have never seen the silverware this organized in any thrift store, but especially my local one here. I was kind of impressed, actually. I was like, what is happening? But while I was standing there admiring that, the lady comes up with these, and she's like, don't you need some of these? And I was like, yeah, I do. So my plan for these, um, these not so much. I have another idea for these, the you know little fork in this little spatula thing. But for the spoons, I'm gonna paint these and I'm going to make them garden markers. So for like basil and what's that other herb I always kill? Rosemary, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. And, um, I have, let's see, three, four, six. Okay, I'm gonna do two sets of three. So I'll probably keep a set for myself because my girls love to always pot the herbs even though we don't always do that great with them. But I do usually do okay with basil and we usually put that in our spaghetti sauce and things like that. So if you have any other tips for basil, please let me know because what else can I do with it? We love it, I just don't know what else to do with it. So tell me below. Anyway, I have six total, so I'm gonna do two sets of three, but I'm gonna paint them. And in, in here, I'm gonna do the um, the herb names. And I might even do a picture of the herb or paint it or maybe do a little decoupage. But I got this idea from my friend Brie at Upcycled, Upcycled by Brie. And I will try to link her channel in her um, social medias below so that you can go give her a follow because she's so creative and gives me such good inspiration. All right, next. I know, I know what you're thinking but you gotta hang with me, okay? So these are straight up out of 1978, I know, but how cute are they going to be is what's important. So I pay 25 cents each for these. And my goal is to first get them clean because like they came straight with salt and pepper still in them. So we're gonna get those clean. I'm gonna run them through the dishwasher, get them really good and sanitized. Then I'm going to add the crockery stamp. I will, um, I'll link it below, but here's the truth, okay? My friend Julie with Julie's Designs and Signs did an awesome video on it and 
crockery kind of went viral y'all so if you don't already have our um crockery when we get it back in you better snag one so even iod is sold out right now and we don't know when we're going to get any more in so go over to my website and click that you want to be notified when they come back in stock okay but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some clay and i'm going to press the stamp into the clay so that it's got the cute little impression then i'm going to paint it and i'm going to paint it white and then i'm going to put some black wax into the little design that's going to go over this all right then i'm going to have these cutie little salt shakers that are nice and cleaned up and freshened up and ready to use so there's that Okay, here's another, like, what do I that for? I don't even know what this really is, like, supposed to be for because it doesn't look like your typical bunt pan. So, I'm not really sure. But my goal is I'm going to paint the outside, make it something, you know, kind of springy, and I'm going to put succulents in it. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul today, and I hope that I have some items that maybe have inspired you, that may be something you would normally walk past and then maybe next time you'll pick up because now you've got an idea. So subscribe if you haven't already done that. That way you can see the actual thrift flips because I'm gonna do another video where I take these items that I've showed you and actually do what I said I have planned to do. So you might wanna watch that just in case things don't work out because sometimes they don't. So that'll be interesting. You'll learn what you don't want to do. So, all right, have a good one and I'll see you soon.